Welcome to a special edition of the Kane Forensics video series. Today, we have a very special episode to talk about the launch of Kane 12, Sidereal. Kane is a live distro created for digital forensics and built in Italy and managed by Nani Bassetti. Kane offers a complete forensic environment that is organized to integrate existing software tools in a friendly user interface. The big change is that Kane 12 is now based on Ubuntu 20.04, an upgrade from version 18.04 used in Kane 11. What does this mean to you? Kane 12 is now using Linux kernel version 5.4, which provides native XFAT support and better Thunderbolt support. Ubuntu 20.04 installs in less time than 18.04. It boots faster than 18.04. Python 3 is now the default version of Python. And then one last major thing is that there is no 32-bit version. So if you have a 32-bit machine, you will have to stay with Kane 11 or come join the rest of the 21st century and get a 64-bit machine. With release 12, some tools are updated. The ones I want to highlight is Autopsy, which is using version 4.19, Red Dripper, which is now using 3.0, and the inclusion of Andriller. One thing to note is that Kane 12 removed the Windows tools that used to come with the distro. This was done to save space on the core ISO, so you'll just have to gather the Windows tools by yourself. Another thing to note is that this version is not installable, so you have to run it live or in a virtual machine. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I can get back on the dance floor. The upgrade in Autopsy went from 4.13 to 4.19. And so some of the major changes is that from a data source standpoint, Autopsy 4.19 now supports APFS in a limited manner, and it also supports XRY file exports. For ingest modules, the recent activity module now expanded the Chromium support, gives you more Windows artifacts, such as MRU from the Adobe Reader, Media Player, Office, 7-Zip, RAR, etc. The Picture Analyzer module, which used to be called XIF, now supports HEIC pictures. Basically, they're converted to JPEG first. There's a Drone Analyzer and GPX module, and this uses DATCOM to parse DJI drone data, which creates track points and waypoints, etc. There's now support for iOS Analyzer, otherwise known as iLeap, and the Android Analyzer, known as Aleep. But unfortunately, uh, neither one of those runs on Linux, and they only run on Windows. Click on the thumbs up icon to like this video, and please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. With Red Dripper, it went from 2.8 to 3.0, which was a very major update. The command line version, RIP, has been modified significantly. So now you no longer have to select a profile. Instead, you just select the hive to parse and then the output directory. The data formatting has been updated, which means better support for international time formats. And then plugins have been updated, modified, and consolidated. Uh, and the number of plugins have now dropped from 386 to 248. And they are forward compatible, but not backwards compatible. So the 2.8 plugins can work in 3.0, but 3.0 plugins do not work in 2.8. And Andriller 3.5.2 is a software utility with a collection of forensic tools for smartphones. It performs read-only, forensically sound, non-destructive acquisition from Android devices. It has features such as uh, lock screen cracking for pattern, pin code, or passwords. It's got custom decoders for apps data from Android databases and for decoding communications. And then the extraction and decoders produce reports in HTML and Excel formats. You can follow the link in the description below to download Kane 12 today and then watch this video if you want to learn how to install it in a virtual machine. Or if you're interested in how to use the various tools in Kane, make sure you watch these videos here. Thanks for your time and see you again.